Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online and we are here with somebody very special today. We have finally pulled out from the stable Apple Guardian who has been patiently waiting to explore this beautiful land of Mistfall with us ever since uh, we discovered a land basically made up of mosses and ferns and mist and everything perfect for Apple Guardian, Guardian of the Forest, to really enjoy, especially with his sidekick Apple. And I think there's actually some apple trees that we can go and have them look at in a little farm nearby but we are back so our questing for quest continues we are finally starting to make some decent progress on both quest and uh, getting my levels up a little bit which is fantastic since I still have that dream of going to the valley of the hidden dinosaur at some point in our lives so if I happen to be uh, you know seeming like I'm behind a little bit on some of the star stable updates don't panic guys if I can I will We'll be making special videos for now that will focus on different updates and special events that Star Stable has to offer. But otherwise, it's time to get serious about this series, you know what I mean? And to go on adventures. After three years, I am still only level 14 and we still have so many areas to unlock. So apologies if some of the update events are missing. Don't worry, we'll have special videos dedicated to that that are kind of separate from the main story stuff we're trying to do now. So with that out of the way, let's continue on with some cool main story stuff. At least I'm hoping this is main story stuff. Helping out Violet the Ranger. So we're actually going to help her today, hopefully with taking pictures of wildlife, which is just fantastic, utterly amazing, and a thousand percent something that I want to do. Before we can start on official work, let's make sure you know your way around a camera. Oh, Violet, little do you know who you happen to be talking to, my friend. The hills and meadows around Mistfall are positively awash with rabbits. It shouldn't be that hard to find one. Take my camera and photograph one of the rascally fellas. Good luck. Oh my goodness. <gasps> and we get a new saddlebag. Yes, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, Violet, you are amazing. You take good care of your volunteers and we're off. So you guys are definitely going to notice that Apple Guardian is not quite as fast as some of our other horses. And that is actually because he is a magical Yorvik horse. And that means he will never be as fast as some of the others. But as we start wiggling our ways into the wilderness uh, in search of waspy rabbits, apparently, then we will actually be able to see him transform into his beautiful green coat that has earned him the name Guardian of the Forest. So hang in there. All right, and I, I also thought because he moves a little bit slower, we might be able to get some really great pictures. Oh, there it is. <gasps> it's so cute, it's so cute, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We might be able to get some really, really good pictures of some of the animals here uh, because he moves slower than some of my other horses. You gotta slow down to enjoy the scenery, especially if you don't want to startle any birds. Also, one second. Sure enough, I told you, Apple Guardian, I told you that there would be apple actual... Oh, these aren't apples. Okay, I'm sorry, Apple Guardian. These are not apples. They are a delicious looking berry, but this also looks really awesome if you ask me, but I apologize. I promised you guys apples and those are like currants of some kind or like, hmm, I don't really know raspberries, I suppose, but raspberries are really more a bush thing. But yeah, oh, that's interesting. And here I thought we were awash in apple trees, but actually that's a completely different species of a uh, floral there. And props off to those of you guys who also pay attention to those kinds of details. They really enrich the world around us. All right, Violet, that's a great photo. Bunnies really are the most photogenic creatures, don't you think? Okay, Saga, you've proved you're more up for the job, more than up for the job of a junior nature photographer. Little do you know, Violet, please. Let me have you check out my Instagram, my Seriously Instagram. It is literally full of wildlife photography. All right, so we are now apparently part of the Rangers, and she has just given us a modern blue saddlebag that is completely waterproof and very fashionable. The pins are from charities supporting wildlife. <gasps> there's little pins on it. Oh my gosh, there's little pins on it. Okay, that's adorable. I'm going to make Prince Apple, the little squirrel, stay in there for now. And uh, Violet? Oh wow, look at this. Frogs, I wanna take pictures of frogs. Mistfall is home to several species of frog, but today I'm interested in documenting just one, Felix Fa Mistfalia. 
In other parts of Jorvik, frog populations have been in decline, but here in Mistfall, our amphibian friends are thriving. Perhaps studying the local species, we can find a way to aid frog conservation elsewhere. It all starts with your, phot your photograph saga, so take my camera and document three frogs in their natural habitat. I am a thousand percent on top of that, and then also the squirrels. Today, I could use your help in surveying the local populations of Scurious Mistfolia, better known as the Mistfall Squirrel. The squirrels here in Mistfall National Park are slightly larger than their cousins in the Fergrove region. Do you hear that, Apple? Do you hear that, little Prince Apple? It must be the abundance of pine nuts around here. If you can provide me with three photographs of the local squirrels in their natural habitat, I can use the data points to track if they are just bulking up for the season or if they have always had such hearty appetites. All right, so this is fantastic and definitely probably like the side questy sort of stuff, but it makes me really happy after we just saved Dundle to spend a little bit of time actually enjoying its beautiful wildlife and building up our reputation with some of the people who make their home here, which is actually something that is very important to do if you want to have access to exploring some of the other areas in the future. For instance, I really have several cities I need to be building up my reputation with if I ever want even hope of being able to start visiting uh, some of the locked areas, but we'll work on that in the future. For now, I think I see something. Okay, is this a squirrel camera? Oh, and our magic, fla our magic power is growing. You guys are gonna see his special coat in just a second here. And here's a frog. We got a picture of a frog. Ah, it's a really, really, really cute frog too. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got a great picture of the frog and then now we need to have a really great picture of the squirrel, but we need three pictures of frogs. Here's another frog. Don't step on him, Apple Guardian. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I love it. <laughs> they have adorable little spots. Oh my gosh. All right, well, let's run up here. See what I mean? This, this is fantastic. I would come here every day to do wildlife photography. This is a thousand percent one of my favorite quests I think I've ever had. All right. And apparently there's a frog here. I don't know if I got a picture of it, but apparently that counted. So there you go, little frog. And now we're going to ride a little bit deeper into the forest where, as you can see, Apple Guardian is a lot happier. So he's beginning to get his uh, different colored coat. Hmm. All right, and I'm literally just walking through someone's, uh, oops, sorry about that, through someone's garden. But we're going to see, oh, Apple Guardian, not that way? Okay, I'm sorry. We're gonna see if we can go and find those little squirrels. So they should be scuttling somewhere nearby. Looking around in the trees, let's see, squirrel camera at the ready. Personally, I don't have different wildlife cameras for my different, my different squirrels, uh, but, Oh, 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 yeah! Actually, you know what? I think that my squirrel. Oh, I scared him! No! He's out of here. Firstly, I don't have different wildlife cameras for my squirrels, but it might be a good idea. All right. Apple Guardian, we've got to be a little careful. It looks like the frogs are fine, but the squirrels. Oh, this is so beautiful! What a lovely spot for the squirrel! Here, get the squirrel! My camera's stuck! Literally, my camera was stuck. No, little squirrel. No. <laughs> this is just like real life wildlife photography where every time I try to take a picture of anything, we just end up completely missing it. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful though. Oh my gosh. Doesn't Apple Guardian just look a thousand percent? Oh my gosh. I even have the mushrooms in the shot. Well, we may be spooking squirrels trying to take pictures of them, but at least I can... <laughs> At least I can take lovely pictures. There's a picture of a frog right there. That's so cool. At least I can take lovely pictures of the frogs and of Apple Guardian. So it should be another one coming up around here somewhere. There he is. There he is eating some little mushrooms. That's so cute. I love it when I see squirrels eat mushrooms in real life. Okay, right here, right here, right here, right here. Get him. Oh, finally. These little guys are hard to track down. Or really, Apple Guardian was more like trying to walk on them. You think having a squirrel as a sidekick would mean he would be a little bit more careful about those things, but sometimes you just have to do what you have to do, I suppose. All right, well, let's see. Is there a squirrel over here? Yes. All right, guys. Another picture. Slow down, Apple Guardian. Slow down. That's why I brought you, because you're a little slower than the others. Ah, oh, he's so cute. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I am so in love. Oh, I could, I, how am I ever gonna leave this area? I'm never going to remember that, and like remember that other areas exist. This is just fantastic. All right, just one more squirrel picture. Then we'll be able to go back and we will have wonderfully built up our reputation a little bit with the rangers who make this area their home. And again, I don't see a squirrel, but we saw a lot of squirrels. Maybe a picture of no squirrel is the control for the picture of the squirrels we did have. So let's go ahead and run back to Dundle, uh, which is actually, by the way, wanna see something fancy? My new home stable, because I have to admit this place truly does feel like home. This is just far too tempting to be in. This is just amazing. I would just love to make it feel like home. Oh, and it looks like there's actually somebody who wants to talk with us just right around the corner. Huh, all right. Oh, <gasps> no way. The fox lady wants to speak with us, guys. Oh, this is gonna be good. Kit, how do you do? <laughs> A customer. Um, hello, my name is Kit Shorthouse, and this is Kit's Cuddle Cottage. Step right up and meet my team of professional cuddlers. Aren't they sweet? They're mist foxes, a special breed that only exists here in Mistfall. Hundreds and hundreds of years ago, they were tamed by farmers to keep their crops safe from mice and birds. Nowadays, they're like the sweetest and cuddliest little puppy dogs in the whole world. And now let me tell you the best part. Oh, the best part? Kit's Cuddle Cottage, offering on-site cuddle sessions and express delivery. Feeling low, in urgent need of a snuggly little friend? Then fret no more. With our online ordering, a licensed cuddler will be by your side within 30 minutes, wherever you are. Place your order now and the Mist Foxes will get your energy levels up, up, up through the roof. Is that why you're so excitable, Kit? That's adorable. Yeah, did you get all that? Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Saga, I've just received an order for our premium snuggle bug no tears express delivery deal, but I can't take care of it right now. I'm dealing with a kind of overcrowding situation here. I can hear the phone ringing inside, but I can't get into the house. See, the foxes are napping in a huge pile by the front door, so they're blocking it. I have to figure something else out. Meanwhile, can you please make the delivery? It's a premium order, so I'm sending our best cuddle consultant, Miss Peggy Paws. She's so excited to go, she can barely stand still. The customer should be somewhere in Dundle. Take this transportation crate and give it to her. When the cuddle session is done, bring Miss Paws back here for a reward. Oh my goodness, okay. So we are now escorting in what I can only assume is a little carrier, Miss Cuddle Paws, to her location where apparently she needs to she needs to be delivered for an immediate cuddle session, an emergency no tears cuddle session. I am not sure if I have ever done such noble work before. All right, let's let's do this. There's many adorable little houses here, but we need to find someone who's looking a little down. What about right over here? Is this it? <gasps> she looks down. I know what she could use. Miss Cuddles, Miss Cuddles, if you could please, Miss Cuddles. Miss Cuddles, this lady looks really down. Uh, oh, must dismount, okay. All right, Miss Cuddles, hang on a second. Here we go. Oh, thank you so much. I'll just let that mist fox out of the crate. Oh my gosh, is this gonna be really cute? <gasps> Miss Cuddles! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Can I order a cuddle fox? I would love to. Oh, this is so cute. Look at how happy she is now. We've completely changed her day. That's fantastic. Thank you again. I was feeling very homesick and sad, but now I'm all better. Oh, that was so cool. Okay, where's my horse? Oh my gosh, Apple Guardian. That was adorable. You just got out of the way so that we could let the little fox run around. Well, that was really cute. Let's go ahead and run this way so we can drop off the photographs that we have taken today. Quite proud for the work we've done for the rangers. Ah. It, is it easy being green? Local sources say yes. These are some very healthy frogs. The Yorvik Rangers thank you for your service, volunteer. Look at the cute little cheeks bulging with nuts. I'll log these photos so we can track the population's growth over time. Thank you for your service to the Yorvik Rangers. Yay! All right, so I have increased my reputation with the Yorvik Rangers and I got paid! I got paid! I have money now for having 
<laughs> for having gone and helped take pictures of wildlife. Talk about fan. Fantastic. That is the kind of life that I would love to live here in Dundle. And it looks like, okay, let's take our cuddle, um, Miss Cuddles, our cuddle consultant back. And it looks like somebody else wants to talk to us too. Whew, things are really starting to heat up here. But let's return to the cuddle cottage. First things first. All right. It, it, I ended up smashing through the back window to get inside and picked up the phone just in time. It was an important business call and none of the foxes woke up, so I would say it's a win-win situation. Oh dear. Kit. Thank you, Saga, for making the delivery. Miss Paws looks very pleased. Kit, you might need some help, ma'am. I think I have a few too many foxes living with me. They just keep showing up. Every morning when I wake up, I swear there are at least four more. At first it was cozy. Sure, I had to sleep on the couch sometimes, but now there are just Miss Foxes everywhere. When I open the closet door, foxes fall out. When I open the pantry, there's no food, only foxes. And the bathroom? I don't even want to talk about it. Then last night, I was lying here on the lawn in my sleeping bag. I just thought, Kit, you need to revise your business plan. So Saga, hear me out, okay? Oh my gosh, lady. <laughs> This is becoming a fox hoarding situation, and that's worse than, than you think. The only solution is to give some of them up for adoption. We all had a business meeting yesterday and got a few volunteers. They're ready to meet new people and see the world. Oh, and a butterfly, like, flutters by in perfect timing. Also, the adoption fees will help feed all the foxes and renovate the house. Fix the broken window, for starters. Come back to Kit's Cuddle Cottage anytime you need some cuddles. It's on the house. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. So we have unlocked the cuddle cottage and we now have the ability to buy foxes. We could have a bronze fox, a bronze fox. We could have a ash fox, a snow fox, which I think is definitely something that caught uh, <laughs> Apple Guardian's eye. Um, let's go ahead and switch over. And we could also have a classic red fox. Oh my gosh. And I happen to know that these are definitely the kinds of pets, just like our squirrel, who enjoys running and frolicking down by your feet below. I have no idea which one I would pick. I kind of love the bronze fox because I tend to like things that are brown. But which color did you guys pick? Did you get one of each? It's just so difficult to decide which ones I would want. Oh my goodness. And I know the platinum foxes were here for a little while. I did get one from one of my friends. That was before I could even get the foxes. But to be completely honest, I kind of love the bronze foxes. It looks like they're the least popular because their adoption fee is the cheapest too. I wonder if I should get a little bronze fox? Oh boy, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Ah! I can't believe I spent that many of my star coins, but we did it. We now have a little bronze fox companion who I think is going to be a little bit more, mm, how should I say it? Definitely going to be a little bit more on the ground and searching out what he can find to help Apple Guardian than, uh, you know, Apple, the prince of squirrels, is. So I think what we'll do is we will have our new little adorable bronze fox, who I'm, I'm not exactly sure what I will name him just yet. I'm going to have to think of something special. He will help out Apple Guardian with digging in the ground and hunting out good scents. And then whenever we need just a companion to kind of help go through and groom Apple Guardian's mane or to scurry up a tree, or to help us to pick some of the berries off of what is totally not apple trees, then that's when we can have Prince Apple help us out. But I have to say, I'm really happy about the bronze fox. I think it's the least popular, and that's what makes me happy about having it with me. Kind of like adopting a black cat, I suppose. But all right, guys, we have even more to do here in Dundle and Mistfall next time. There are clearly a lot more things to see. And now we have a tiny little fox buddy who's going to run by our side too. Oh my goodness, life is absolutely fantastic. We have frolicking foxes and, and finicky frogs and silly squirrels and this beautiful forest to explore. So hopefully next time we will be able to go and work with Rania to figure out how the elections are going to go for Dundle. And once we're done with taking care of everything here, we'll figure out where we're going to go in the world to continue on our main storyline quest and maybe one day reach the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. So... I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.